What is up everybody, Vital Syntax here, and today's video I'm going to be showing you how to download and install mods for the PC version of Skyrim The Elder Scrolls V. Now this is a very simple process, um, and all you really need to do is download one application, typically, although there are some uh, mods out there that do require uh, other applications to, to work, but for the most part we're only going to be using a thing called a Nexus Mod Manager. Um, as of right now, there's not a whole lot of mods out there that aren't uh, just texture packs, which are awesome. Texture HD packs are, are really, really cool. There's a couple new skins out there. There's even um, some game-changing mods out there, uh, but there's not a whole lot of them. And the reason for that is because they actually haven't released the development tools or the dev kit or mod tools, whatever you want to call it, for the for the game yet. They, uh, they did announce that it's going to be released by the end of January, so we should expect to see that in the next couple weeks. But... There still are a ton of mods out there, and even when the mod tools are released, this is probably the same way that you'd go about uh, acquiring those mods. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to open up a new uh, browser tab, and we're going to go to uh, type in uh, Skyrim Nexus Manager. So SkyrimNexus.com is the site we'll be using, and the manager is basically a, uh, a program that you'll download to your computer that will download and keep track of uh, all the mods that you have. So you don't have to make an account quite yet, but go ahead and click download now. And let's press keep that, and you'll see it start downloading. Now while it's doing that, we want to go back to SkyrimNexus.com, and we want to click register if you don't have an account already. So click register, and then click register again. And you'll need an account if you want to do uh, any of the modding, so make sure you do this. Scroll down, agree, I have read it, continue, and then you'll fill in your information, username, email address, password, all that stuff, and then when you're done, you press register, and I believe it does send you an email to your email address for confirmation, and once you do that, you should be ready to go. Since I've already done this, I'm not going to actually do it again. Let's just go back to the website. And then to log in, you'll have these two boxes here, username and password. So just type yours in and press log in. All right, so by this time, you can see we're done downloading the Nexus Mod Manager. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I do already have it installed on this computer, but I'll still go through the installation process. Just going to accept. Next. And you want to do that, whatever. And click Next and then install it. I'm not going to do it because um, I already have it installed and then once you have the program installed you can go ahead and open it up I'm just gonna open up mine from the start menu it'll probably be in a the uh, folder in a, a Nexus folder in your start menu alright so when you when you install it and when you open it up you're not gonna have you, you see these three tabs right here you're not gonna have all these these are all the from all the the mods I've already downloaded you'll probably just have update.esm and skyrim.esm and then you can click over to mods tab. Those are all the mods that you have. If they have a check mark, mark obviously you're not going to have any at this point. But if you have a check mark, that means it's installed. If it's, there's no check mark, it means it's not installed. And then the third tab is the download manager. So what you want to do to get a mod is you just want to go back to the Skyrim Nexus site and find a mod that you want. So let's say I want this heroic dwarven armor uh, and weapons. You can click on that. You can even see pictures. They look very very good and I, I actually kind of want to download this one you can see how detailed this one is in comparison to just the default one so what you would do is just click download with manager and once you click that in the download manager uh, Nexus manager you'll see it starts downloading it's, it'll give you an overall process and the step process usually once the step process reaches 100 so will the overall process uh, and the larger obviously the the mod um, longer it's going to take to download. So something like the HD2K texture pack, which I'll just type in here. This thing is a, a ginormous mod, and it's the Skyrim HD2K textures. I would definitely suggest downloading this one because it, it does a lot, a lot of HD textures all around the world of Skyrim. But uh, downloading this one's going to take quite a while to, to finish. So let's wait for this one to finish. You can also use this Nexus Manager with other um, other games. They have um, all the previous Elder Scrolls. They have the previous Fallout games, um, and you just use the same program 
to um, to install the mods. And you also see there's a launch Skyrim here. You can launch it straight from here if you wanted to. So wait for this to finish. It's about 80 percent. You can see I, I already have a ton of mods installed right now. Uh, everything from ebony armor makes it gold plated, which I thought was pretty cool. Cowardly horses, which make um, your horse run away from combat instead of attacking people because your horse always gets himself killed. Uh, Breeze home enchanting table because there's not an enchanting table in White Run. It adds it. Um, tons of HD packs. Alright, so uh, you can see it's at 100% now. And if we switch over to the tabs mod, you'll see it shows up down here, but it doesn't have a check mark next to it. So when I click on it and have it highlighted, you'll see there's a bunch of options over here. So this plus one will let you add a mod if you say download it without the manager and you wanted to add it to uh, the the manager um, but if you're gonna do all through the manager you never use this, you need to use this plus button uh, what you want to do is use this activate selected mod with the arrow uh, you click, click that and it will install the mod if you have a mod that already has you know textures or things like that um, that this one would override then you'll have to agree so I'm just gonna say yes to all successfully activated very easy to do to uninstall it, you just press the red arrow going to the left and also to delete it you would just press this X button to completely remove it so now that I have it installed I can go ahead and launch the game right here or switch over to Steam or anywhere else and launch the game and you'll have that mod installed so that's basically all you have to do to install mods for Skyrim the Elder Scrolls 5 uh, hopefully that helps some of you out I know some of you have you know kind of uh, wanted to install mods but maybe didn't know how to so hopefully this will help you out and I will in the future be covering some more mods uh, with Skyrim showing off some you know cool texture packs or cool other mods especially once those mod tools are released um, so if you're a PC gamer hopefully now you'll be able to follow along and install those mods yourself alright so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video remember to leave a rating or a favorite and I'll see you guys in the next video bye